Hello everyone, Elwakil here. Welcome to my channel. Today, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this really beautiful brand identity from scratch for an imaginary company called Athletics. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you stay tuned and get updates each time I upload new videos. Now, without taking much of your time, let's get started. So for the first part, I'm going to start with the logo. For this, I need a triangle, an evenly sized triangle. I'm going to flip it, then round off the corners using the direct selection tool. I'm going to increase the stroke to about 100 pixels. And then I'm going to outline this stroke so that I turn it into a solid shape. After I do that, I'm going to use my pen tool to draw lines on the three sides of the triangle that I'm going to use to create three different shapes from this triangle so that we can add colors or gradients to this, just like this. After that is done, I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to select everything including the strokes that I drew using the pen tool and the triangle itself. And then I'm going to use the shape builder tool to create three separate parts of this triangle. For the next part, I'm going to bring in the colors that I'm going to use for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to leave a link in the description as to where I get these colors from so that you can also get yours there. It's quite easy to get and generate color palettes from there. It's from a site called coolers.com. So for this logo, we are going to use the gradient tool to get the 3D effects that we that you saw in the beginning. So after giving the logo the gradient, you select the first part and click on the first point of your gradient. And I, I drop the first color that's here, the first green. And then you do the same for the second point and I drop the darker side of the green. So you use the gradient tool to make sure your gradient starts from the lighter color and goes in into the darker color on the other side you can click on the flip gradients to get to make sure you get the same effect and then you repeat the same process for all three parts of the logo just as you see in the video after that is done it should you should get something like this so you take off the stroke and then you group them you can resize as desired so our logo is ready now we're going to proceed to the other elements of the brand identity that we are creating here. Now for the word mark, I'm going to use a font called Poppins just because it's um it's bold and it's uh, very legible. So I'm going to use a bold Poppins variable font for this, just like this. And then I'm going to adjust my logo, icon and the uh, word mark just so everything fits into place just like this. Now, for my viewers out there, this is a speed process tutorial, so that's why the process is a little bit fast. But if you need an in-depth beginner's tutorial, please be sure to leave your comments in the comment section, and I'll get back to you all. Thank you. Now that our logo is done, I'm going to use this artboard here over on the right to arrange my color palette. I'm going to... I drop the colors just from the image above. As I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description for where you can get these ready-made color palettes from and then you can use them in your projects.
so for the next two artboards i'm going to be creating a couple of um really minimalistic social media templates on these artboards for that i'm going to um, drag and drop in some pictures that i downloaded from free pick and from other sites that i get um license free images from i'm going to also leave uh, a link to those in the description so that um, you can have access to them as well so i'm going to resize my image and crop it in to fit my artboard and i'm going to use an overlay on the top of the image while i, I add a couple of text as you can see the background of my image is in a different color and for since we're creating a brand identity we don't want to go outside of our color palette that is why after cropping the image i'm going to draw a rectangle on top of the image and i'm going to give it a color that is within our brand identity one of the colors that are up there above so just follow me as i do that
for this next part I'm going to create a rectangle and then an ellipse and then I'll use the shape builder tool to delete the lower part of the ellipse from the rectangle so that I have something like this then I use the eyedropper to give them two separate colors and these are cards that I'm going to use to contain different taglines for the brand just like this I create a text and then I resize it and put it on the lower part of the brand and then I give it one of the colors that are within our brand identity and then I'm going to duplicate this and just edit the text and the colors just like this. to add our word mark and then duplicate it into five places and for this part of the design I'm going to make sure that each of the word marks as it goes down the opacity reduces by 20% so the one below the first is 80 then the one followed by it is 60% and the one below it is 40% and the last one is at 20% and then I add a background. Okay guys, so I added two extra artboards which I'm going to use to design a business card and a pattern for the brand. So I used two rectangles here with two separate colors to create a business card for the brand. The first one just contains the logo and a flat background and then the second one which is the back of the business card is going to contain the name, the position and then contact information for whoever holds the business card. I'm going to create a lighter version of my logo which is going to be used on darker backgrounds so I copy and paste the logo here on this and then I double click to go into isolation mode so now I change the color of the word mark into the light color that we have here and then I'm going to do the same for the icon so I'm going to use the eyedropper to eyedrop the lighter color that we have over here and then I do the same for the second part of the gradient though for this time this time around after we put in the lighter color what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's a little bit darker so I double click on the point here and then I drag the slider all the way to the right just a little bit and then we get that effect so I use the eyedropper tool to do the same give the same effect for the other three parts of the logo and you can have you should have something like this after that is done now for the last part of this tutorial, we are going to create a pattern for the brand using our, our icon here. So I'm going to just copy 
the logo icon that we have here for athletics and then I'm going to drop it on a solid or green back or dark background just as you see in the video so I'm going to make sure my my green background covers over the white area and then I delete the word mark leaving only the icon I'm going to resize it to make it a little bit smaller let me zoom in so y'all can see now after that I go to object pattern and then make so you just use the same options that I use here and you will be fine we're going to make sure that we have enough just to cover our pattern on new spaces so you copy or you create a rectangle on the artboard and then you go up to the swatches panel and click on the pattern that you created because it should automatically be added into the swatches panel after you add it and we have something like this So guys that brings us to the end of this tutorial i know it was a little bit fast but i hope you learned something if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to each and every one of them don't forget to like comment share and most importantly subscribe for more valuable content